I think stream died. One second. There you go. You have to do the thumbs up emoji, dude. <laughs> right. Um, I got kind of fucked though. Well, I don't know. It was a it was a win win loss loss situation. So like two or three summers ago, I got in a head on collision. Um, going up fifteen hundred south, mm-hmm. this lady just swerved right into my lane. And, like, I tried, like, really hard to, like, swerve yeah, away Jesus from her. The wheel and and uh, she still hit, like, we were both going, like, 30, 35, and she hit. That's a steep-ass hill right by, is that? No, 1500 is, um, like, the she apples on and stuff. Yeah, down, down yeah, towards Redwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down at Woods Cross. And, oh, uh, yeah, Foxborough. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she just, I still to this day don't know what she did. I don't know if she was checking her phone or if she, like, just passed out. But just, like. Like, it ended up being her whole entire front of her, like, SUV hit my passenger side fully. Because I, like, I thought it was someone, like, kind of fucking with me. Yeah. And then, like, I noticed they weren't, like, going back in the lane. So I hurried and tried to swerve out of the way. But totaled my car. Like, I got, I didn't get hurt. But, like, you know. You got shook up. Yeah, sure. I got yeah. shook up. I had, your fucking car, I had yeah. green bruise from the belt all the way across my oh, stomach and my chest. Man. And, like, I had, like, a burn on my arm and a whole bunch of stuff. But, uh. Did your airbag go off? Yeah, the airbag burnt me. And, yeah. uh, you know, ambulance was there, like, tons of cops. Like, it was, like, a whole entire thing. And Fucking wow. Like, the lady had, like, four kids in the car, too. Like, like there was an infant in the back. So I don't know what she was doing. But uh, the cops got there, and I was like, yeah, this happened, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and it kinda, I kind of got screwed because they paid off the value of my car, but there was nothing left over. And we didn't sue because, like, I just didn't think that was, I don't know, I kind of have a weird thing with suing. I don't think yeah. people should just sue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I probably should have. Wait, they only were going to pay the amount on your that, That's on all your they did, yeah. They shouldn't they pay the value of the car, not the value of the loan? Oh, well, no, they paid the value of the car, which was yeah. pretty much the loan yeah. of the car. Oh, okay, yeah. So I paid my car off, but then I was just left with nothing. Yeah. And, like, I mean, they paid the medical bills, but I went to the doctor once right afterwards to make sure I was okay and never heard anything from it like I don't know if she like was drunk or she was like popping pills and like passed out or like there's this thing called mom brain dude and you just have so many kids you just like that's how I got rear-ended was a a woman driving and she was checking on her child she looked back to check on the child and rear-ended me I don't know. I just kind of regret like not going after her for something. So oh, I could dude, have a new you could have gotten so much pain and suffering. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. When you, especially when your car's totaled, you'd be like, I can't work. <laughs> so I much know. pain, so much suffering. Probably should have, but I just felt like that would be a scumbag thing. I to mean, do. it was a family. You probably did right. Ah, uh, it was an expensive car though. They weren't. It wasn't like a poor what, little. Which one were you driving around at the time? Well, no, her car. Oh yeah. I mean, I had a nice car too. I think I remember yours, like silver one. Yeah, the yeah. Mazda three. Yeah. 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 My car wasn't bad, but her car was probably like a fifty, sixty thousand dollar SUV. Oh wow. And like. They had money. You should have gone for it. Should have done it. Yeah. yeah. This just kind of put me in a shit spot. Like, well, I mean, I ended up like sort of Dude, buying if my car. Someone hit car. me and it was like that stupid of a fuck up. They they didn't. Even Right. You gonna learn today? <laughs> but she didn't even say your husband's gonna learn because he's paying for all that fucking. She never even talked to you. Didn't say sorry, nothing. I was kind of mad about that, like, because I called my mom. Like, I got out of the car, called nine one one. I should have stayed in the car. Like, I was all fucked up. Like, yeah, I can imagine you right know. now. Just fuck. And, like, <laughs> got out of the car and like called my mom. Like, we'll call the cops or ambulance or or not even call the ambulance. I just called nine one one. Said, hey, just got in a car crash on fifteen hundred south. Called my mom and she showed up and that was a bad idea. <laughs> Don't call me. <her. laughs> she was panicking. Yeah. And uh, I went and I just sat down like on the sidewalk and I was you know, you know, dazed and yeah. that adrenaline drop. She, did and, she ever get out of the car? Yeah, she got out of the car and she was like sitting on the grass and like she seemed okay, but she was just like she probably didn't want to have the awkward car. She probably didn't want to fess up to what she did. That's probably why not. she didn't talk to you. I was yeah. on my phone. Yeah. Should have though. Yeah. Should at least said sorry. She went and kicked her ass. <laughs> just beat the shit out of her. Money quality. And then yeah. fucked up her kids on the punch them too. Right. Curb stomped the little bastards. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, I, I don't know about when my got mine, the police were even like, I hit my head and I was like, my head hurt. And everybody was like, yo, do you need an ambulance? Like, it's it's insurance covered. Like, if you need an ambulance, like, let us know. Even if it's just your head hurt. And like, they don't fuck around. They're just like, if you're not at fault, they're like, do everything you can to try and get as much money as possible. 
if you can, you know? Because well, it's what, like... Yeah. yeah me like, too. I was like, I don't want to cause any problems. I don't want to fuck these people's lives. That's kind of what I thought. Not me. I get hit. I'm going... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My yeah. leg, my Shit. back. I we were in a parking lot going here. five miles an hour. I don't know what this deal is. <laughs> you don't know what the shittiest part is? Is I think I actually fucked my shoulder up. Mm-hmm. My left shoulder, because I, you know, grabbed the steering wheel. And, like, I remember my, my left shoulder was like... Your arm is probably like numb. So... I have, like, now, like, in the back, like, near the rotator cuff, just, like, pains when I lift and stuff. So I think that it fucked it up, and I didn't check my shoulders because they didn't hurt when I was at the fucking doctor's, you know? But Mm -hmm. what do you do? We'll come around. Next person that hits you, they're bad. (laughs) They're dead! (laughs) (laughs) Well, and I... We're taking them to the cleaners. We have a friend whose brother got in a motorcycle accident, and it fucked him up pretty bad, but he got... He got like thirty five grand from it, and then he got it in cash. Yep. Because he, I don't know. I remember seeing it. I went and hung out down there, and he's like, "You guys want to see something?" <laughs> like we're playing pool, and he like popped like stat like three racks and like six grand on top, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, Damn. why are you showing me this? <laughs> like, it's like I got a briefcase. Yeah, it's like this uh, road rash. Right. <laughs> it came with thirty five grand. <laughs> yeah, it fucked him up pretty bad though. Like, oh yeah. And it was just some, like, 16-year-old kid or 17-year-old kid swerved out downtown and didn't just didn't see him. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Like, dude, motorcycles, man. They're scary. They're yeah. scary, but goddamn do I The worst is, like, the way too big people on the teeny bullet bikes. It's like, <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, you're just gonna, it's just going to wobble out from yeah, under yeah, you. That's a bad idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just get a big bike. Don't. <laughs> Fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> Don't try and, yeah. Trying to be something you're not. <laughs> Quit trying to be something you're not. Get a big ass Harley for your God, fatness. We're ended by this Vespa today. Right. <laughs> the car's fine. I just don't know how to feel about it. Man. <laughs> God damn. Do you guys have cars or stuff yeah, you want? I got that key. Uh, oh, like a? Uh, do you have like a car you want to have one day? Oh. Uh, I have a brand of car. I want a BMW, but uh-huh. I just I simply look like I think of like a nice like rich guy car. I think of a BMW. So right. one, one day if I'm a nice like a rich guy, I want, <laughs> I want, I want, I want a BMW. But yeah. They're nice. Like they drive well. They They're always dope. have cool features. Oh like, yeah, this dude's BMW. Like uh, when I worked at the detail bay, the owner. He had this super nice BMW and it had two TVs in the back. The one back seat, or both the back seats had back massagers, like those super nice ones. And then it had a wine fridge in the oh, middle. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And that was just like features that came with it. <laughs> Dude, that'd and be badass. Yeah, well, like, I would just. I was like, I would never drive my own car. I'd sit back here in the back massager and. <laughs> right. Just have the oh, gas man. running. <laughs> yeah. Cold ass bottle of wine. Yeah. Uh, Where are you going? I'm gonna go chill in my car. Yeah. <laughs> really? Going out Just to like, uh, yeah. Wine. I've been in like I had I had a rental once. Um when I was in Page. Yeah, I was in Page. We were down Lake Pal. My dad only had his truck though, he was a natural gas car. And we all had so much gas we could do to get to the next station, so he couldn't drive his car much. So I was like, let's go get a rental or whatever. And they're like, you can get this. It was like, you can get a Toyota or Honda or this and that. And it's like, but this is the same price as BMW. I'm like, take the BMW. <laughs> BMW. No, with the BMW, dude. It was the first. This was like when Bluetooth was a big deal. It had like a Bluetooth speaker. And I was like, freaking <laughs> Play out. My music. And like ever since that day, it won. It had like the nicest tint and like a sunroof. And I'm just like, this is rich guy stuff. Like, right. Yeah. I need the, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't need like a quarter million Maserati. Like, no. <laughs> But damn what I love one. Right. I'd Dude, pull up with that one. I just couldn't drive Fuck one. you, peasant. I just couldn't mm. drive it. I would just be like, Too don't weary. get a scratch. Don't right. let a bird shit on it. Don't let it rain on this thing. Like, I couldn't. Oh, yeah. And, like, I like speedy sports cars, but, I mean, there's fucking speed limits, man. And, like, cops are such dicks. Especially the guy in the big sports they car. They can catch you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah really. Force doing 140 in the neighborhood. Dude, no, <laughs> police luck, cars <laughs> are accepting, dude. They can go fucking yeah, fast. That's yeah, something yeah. I've learned from just like like cop shows and stuff is, dude, those cars can pick up and go. Yeah, yeah. They, they got special stuff that you can't get on the streets, I guess. <laughs> they, they don't toss, do they? Nah. nah. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> All right, Toretto. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, gadget nuts. <laughs> For He's sure. Like, no, I just hate seeing these videos now with these, like, fucking Instagram kids that getting these fucking 
expensive ass yeah. cars, and then they wreck them because they don't know how to fucking drive them. Right, I keep hilarious. seeing them left, right, and center where they're like, "Oh yeah, check it out! I'm in this two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fucking Lamborghini," and then they're like, "Right into another car." Like, like post. My my favorite one is this kid like some YouTube money kid and he made it all on his own so I'm not trying to yeah. bash him it's not like daddy's money but uh, mm-hmm. he like right as he got out of the lot like he had like a you know some new Lambo he like mm-hmm. peeled out and like flew it down the road and then like the dude who was like recording it like it wasn't like part of the dude's YouTube yeah. he started recording and he said like 15 minutes came back and there was like a check engine light came on uh-huh. and he fried his engine because he was going like <laughs> probably, probably, not shift, shifting. He's probably not shifting he wasn't right, shifting yeah. he hit like he was on like the 10,000 just redlined this just redlined the whole, oh. like a whole entire mile and a half down and I didn't know this but well I knew this but I didn't know how long but like for like sports cars like that you're not even supposed to get over like um, 7,000 RPM yeah. for like like 2,000 miles or something like that so and he just, did it on like mile like five, all the oh way down no. the street, and he came back and it just fried his engine. Car was completely ruined. What a oh. fucking idiot! Yeah, yeah. The worst is the kids that graduate high school and they get a fucking brand new car. Ooh. High school is easy, dude. Like, Not why are hard. your parents giving you this? Like, what's your motivation? Like, what do you get for college? The house? Like, yeah. <laughs> no shit. They just right? got you a brand new Jeep, like Jeep, dude. All the Jeep kids like went to college and they. Had the big fucking brand new Jeep. Where the fuck you get that? Oh, you graduated high school. I graduated Welcome to the school. rest of the entire adult world. Right. I remember a girl. I want her name. Went to high school. She got a nice Jeep, and then she was telling someone like, "I deserve this." Her <laughs> dad bought her Jeep. I was like, "What do you deserve for being a slut? I, des- no. I deserve sucking the whole school's dick. Yeah, oh, stuff in your bra. Because I know who that girl <laughs> yeah. was. I'm pretty sure. Dumb bitch. I'm pretty sure I know exactly too. Yeah. Oh damn! Tall, was, tall broad, I think. Eh, not really. Uh, I was thinking that. I too. remember in the class where someone outed her for stuffing her bra. It was hilarious. It was one of my favorite days ever. My favorite was one time. Um, I can't watch class, ceramics or something. I don't know if I was in there. Buck told me, but like she was bending over and like you could see her tits and now I was like Sam or uh, Rammy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! I can see her nipple. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's who it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm putting that one out there. I don't fucking... <laughs> don't give a shit. Yeah. Coward. Coward. Yeah, don't tell. Yeah. <laughs> Let the tits hang. <laughs> right. Hey, just rock the small titties. If you got what small titties, the rock them. tonight? It is the talk talk. We speak the true truth. <laughs> what kind talk. of car would you want, though? If you... Let's My say... My dream car... Yeah. Would get me from A to B mm-hmm. with respectable miles <laughs> per gallon. <laughs> right, there you go. Fucking gas prices are getting bad, man. I guess I do have a or a Tesla like a sports car. That's my car. Get. Roadster. A Hell yeah. Lease. Oh, that'd Just be gotta cool. get the one out of the space. Those yeah. are right. <laughs> not too douchey. They're so you, cool still look like a, you still look a douchey and call people peasants for sure. Oh yeah, that's my dream. It's gonna <laughs> happen. Dream. Goodbye, peasants. Force me in his G wagon driving I'm down. I'm gonna call everyone a peasant. <laughs> He's gonna be driving down in his G wagon down like this poverty street throwing. Hundreds of fucking poor people. Gonna... <laughs> you fucking idiots. You're, right. You're poor. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, the problem is my friend has my friend has his dream cor- car. He he rebuilt the Corvette. Oh, that's he's got a, dope. he's got a good job, but because he re- rebuilt it, he's I I guarantee he's spent over twenty grand on it over the past couple of years. And he For doesn't make that though? much. Uh, oh, but okay, I mean, yeah. it's like the majority of his paycheck goes to fixing this car, car. and then every time he gets it fully built he then goes and you know gets in an accident because he doesn't know how to drive it or whatever he, he blames other people but it's because he's going 110 on the freeway because he's like yeah my Corvette <laughs> and then he blames other drivers I'm like no Corvettes just, are cool dude I, I understand you're in a Corvette and you want to go fast but when you when you fuck up and it causes an accident and then you blame other people it's like I saw that a lot at the last company I worked for because I, I still haven't said what company it was. I don't want to. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You Larry can make, H. Miller. Yeah, right. <laughs> Larry H. Miller. But if you're there for like, if you work your ass off for like a year and a half, you can be making really good money. So there was a lot of people there who had just lots of money. Oh, yeah. So like every like week, you'll see this fancy ass new car and then it'll be gone. And you'll be like, what? Fuck. We're so, gonna repossess an agency. <laughs> well, it's either that, but I talked to a couple of people who are like, "Oh fuck, man, I told it. We were out dragging one night and I fucked mm-hmm. it up." 
I'm like, dude, it was like a ninety thousand dollar car. Like, what the fuck were you doing? Why are you dragging? He's rallying, man. <laughs> right, like <laughs> that's one... what happens when poor people get money. <laughs> right. There was this one kid. So you guys know what? Is it Little Mexico or New yeah, Mexico? the raceway? Yeah, a little raceway thing. Uh, I don't remember where it's at. I, know uh, once. I never even went there. I remember once with some kid. Yeah. Pretty much, it's like that. It's like a bunch of kids who go there. But he went there with like, he was in one of like the, you know, best paying departments. And he was making bonuses that were like eight, nine grand a month. So he was like bringing in money. Mm-hmm. And uh, he went and bought um, a brand new. Um, God, what's the top end Subarus? STI? Yeah. And he decked it out. He said it was like like brand new. It was like 40 or 50. And yeah. he put like 30 more into it. And it was just like for cars, it was the tits. Yeah. And he went out there and he said that he was racing it one night and just fucked it into a wall. And just completely totaled it. And I was like, why did you take that car out there in the first place? Like, crash test dummy. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> that place of all places. Yeah. Because I never saw it, but everyone told me. So, like, they would drag race. And then, but you have to stop immediately when you're done yeah. because there's a curb and a wall there. So, like, so you gun it, but then they all want to win the race. So they keep going and just. Oh. I think that's what happened to him. I think you fucked into the wall. There was thanks. The What's up, police, Shaggy? What's up, Shaggy? You can't win that but race, dude. It wasn't destined to win that race. <laughs> no, but then, like, the cops apparently shut it down for a while because some Mexican kid was had his Honda Civic and he wrecked it and lit on fire and then he just abandoned it. They all just took off and just yeah. left it there. Oh, no. And, like, it caused, I think, a huge fire because, like, gas blew up and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one time I was there, I saw, like, three fist fights. Three fist fights? Yeah, dude. It's just <laughs> it's just a bunch of they douchey... Kids. It's, like, a mix between, like, the douchey kids around here who spend a lot of money on their car to go race, which is cool. I under, I respect their, you know, their hobby. Yeah. yeah. But then you go and you get mixed up with a bunch of guys who are, like... They live in, like, the ghetto part of Utah. They're really passionate about their car. So you go start shit-talking their car, and they take it to heart thinking that you're attacking yeah. them as a person. There's just fights everywhere. These two guys were fighting because of what car types they liked. Really? <laughs> and got in a fist fight. Shit. I hate that. Dude, That's why car's I, a fucking car. People are like, you drive a Chevy, you drive a Ford, yeah. you drive a Dodge. Like, all the trucks hate each other. Like, it's, come it's on, true. man. I hate it so much. I think it's... I think the car companies did it that way, though, so... It creates like fanboys. Yeah. Ah, Everything is like sports. Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. worst, dude. You're like, mine's a bigger can be. But just hate them. Yeah, that's why I never went like out to you know my ex was super into cars and stuff. I like cars. I like a shit ton. I love cars. I like building cars, but I don't like people that do the same thing. The atmosphere is just because like, they're all the fucking assholes. People involved in it, yeah, ruin it. Yep. Just like the. What's the thing called where you like tilt your tires? Dude? Oh, stance like. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. So, like, it's just like horrible for picture. your car. It's horrible for your car in like every way. And people drive around. They're like, oh, it's to fucking replace this axle. It's like you're fucking slanting your tires. <laughs> so uh, it's funny you bring yeah, that shaggy up. Car wars are real. Yeah, they are super real. What up, Dingo? Hey, Dingo, how you doing? What's your night going? Um, I went and did sales out in Texas. I've mentioned it before. And, uh, oh, that's for, uh, my bush cover. <laughs> I wouldn't put your hands there. Jizzing it. Lots. No, <laughs> he has, a a really cool... <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> little afro boy. Hell yeah. Um, he oh. has a little, uh, EVP recorder thing, and it's really nice. Here you go, Daniel. There's a picture for it. <laughs> Did the alignment myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Dude, oh, it's, it's like horrible for your car in like so many ways like fucks everything up yeah so I when I was down in Texas selling we were in this really ghetto part mm-hmm. and I, I hate to say it but you know when you're get when you're in super ghetto where the houses are gross and disgusting the cars but, cost more than the house yeah you see oh, people yeah. driving $70,000 cars oh yeah they call that that's the that's yeah the I do side. trigger rich yeah trigger rich <laughs> um we uh what was really popular down there is these exotic like rims where like if this is your tire like let's say this is your tire mm-hmm. the further out your rim went the oh, cooler yeah. you were oh okay I got you. <laughs> like the fucking death race it's yeah. true <laughs> oh yeah but we're in like 
gangster ghetto, and it was popular there. And like there was sharpen these tips today, man. Dude, <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. There was times where I'd be walking down the street, and like I thought my ankles were gonna get off because people get like that close because of how far it's out. Yeah. Like they'd probably fuck your leg up, oh, especially yeah. if they're going like 35. Those things are sharp as shit. Yep. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Looks like you're drinking something from a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Do you speak for the trees? I swinkled and dinkled all the way down my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I get like why people are into cars, but the culture yeah. around it's oh. kind of toxic and They're gross. They're assholes. Truck culture is worse though. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It's probably about the same. Yeah, it's tough. I get it. Every, I don't think anyone wants to go slow. Like, very few people want to drive slow. They don't even be, show up and be like the biggest slow. douche you can. Right. Like, I remember one time, it was me and Brock. Brock had his WRX for a while, you know? Yeah. Did you and so we were, on <laughs> we were downtown one. Or I don't I'm know where we were. about the wasted wish now. Oh, okay. We were in Salt Lake, though, one time, and the student Evo, like, you know, I was, like, young. Hey, hey thanks, thanks for the phone. Oh, what up? Thanks. Uh, but he was Shaggy being, Lynch. like, there was this Evo and something parked on the side of the road and then they uh, like we drove by and they're all acting tough because Brock has Subaru and they do that to each other for some reason <laughs> so Brock being Brock just flips them off but then we drive back there and they're still standing there and like it was back before like you know like I would fight people and like would and, but the dude like he, sort of, he starts walking like he's gonna walk up to the car like acting all tough like he's gonna try to fight us so we both roll down our windows and then he just turns around and walks away. <laughs> I was like so you're tough when the windows are up right but then also we roll down the windows like I don't think he realized there was two people in the car probably not and then so he was like Oop. <laughs> it was like the thing that happened to my Drop dad my penny <laughs> dad recently like yeah. I know where the kid lives and I really want to go fucking fuck with him but so down on Redwood Road in 1500 South if you're familiar with that yeah you know it's fast traffic or whatever my dad drives a Mazda 3 speed, mm-hmm. and he definitely looks like, you know, someone who, like a douche kid's car, but it's just my dad. Yeah. Like, he's like 50 years old. Yeah. He likes fast cars. Yeah, but, uh, for sure. He had, it was a green light, and he was turning left, and it turned yellow and was about to turn red, and he was, like, on his way turning, and this Subaru, like, came out of nowhere and, like, almost hit him mm-hmm. just to get, like, right behind him. Like, instead of stopping, the kid wanted to make the red light. Oh. For, like, he ran the red light and turned right for some god awful reason. Yeah. And then, like, tailgated my dad all the way up until the first turn is where I live. Mm-hmm. And uh, my dad, short temper, doesn't take shit from people. Like, flipped him off, and I think he said, fuck you, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So he drove home, and he's telling me this story, and we're up in his room, and we can see outside, mm-hmm. and this car drives past, and my dad's like, that's fucking him. And, I, and he stands up, like, what are you going to do? And he's like, well, I'm going to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, my dad walks out there, and, like, no shit, it was the kid. Like, oh. he found where we lived. What and a dumb, dumb guy. <laughs> my dad, I can hear my dad, like, I was just sitting up there, like, watching, because, like, the kid's not going to get out and fight him. Yeah, yeah. not your dad. And, like, I hear my dad, like, just, get out of the fucking car, pussy. Like, just, like... <laughs> egging this kid on he's probably like maybe he's about 20. to level this kid right <laughs> yeah. and like i can't hear what the kid's saying but he just you know typical bullshit yeah and like blah 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 blah. and like he like gasses on a little bit and then stops and then revs his car up really high and then drives off and i'm like got you little fucking bitch Ooh. i really want to go fuck i just want to find out who he is we can drive past his house if you want if you know the car <laughs> get some eggs I'm down. Do a, pa- do a Patreon yeah. egg donation. <laughs> right. yeah. I just want to laugh at him. I just want to call him a little bitch. Like, why didn't you get out of the car? Yeah. You took the... This is what bothers you me. You came to the house. You came to our house where we live. Dick was out, dude. You, that's your fucking yeah. fault. Like, he's lucky my dad just didn't, like, rip him rip out him. of the car. <laughs> like, Grant that all of that shit. Yeah. Was he talking shit while in his car? Yeah. <laughs> he was saying something. Because, uh, I mean, I don't think... I think if he came and said, sorry, my dad wouldn't start screaming yeah. out of the fucking car. <laughs> like, I think my dad said, like, he said something like, you fat fuck. And he's like, oh, you Mazda kids are fucking... Or Mazda people are assholes or something like that. And that's when my dad was like, well, get out of the fucking car, pussy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't. Because <laughs> he's not going to. What a bitch. Smartest man. thing he did that day. It was. <laughs> Dad's not a small dude. He's like 6'3", like... Oh, shit. 350, 360. Like, he's a big fucking dude. Like, yeah. One punch, dude. Just... I think it would have been funny if he did get out of the car. Because then I would have to go outside and at least film. Yeah. Because it'd be hilarious. World's world's right. <laughs> the funniest was one time... Uh, 
me and Chandler were driving in my car one time. You know Redwood where it merges right there? Yeah. So, like, it merges, and this, like, 65-year-old woman, I'm ahead of her, so, like, she's probably, like, here to here, like, car-wise. And then, so, like, she just keeps driving the merges, and starts honking at me, just, and I was like, the fuck? Like, I was ahead of her, and she was supposed to merge, yeah. like, into me, and just honking at us, and she's, like, putting up her arms and stuff. Bad mistake. That's what me and Chandler were assholes. We just, like, get next door. Fuck you, you dumb old... <laughs> yelling. She's yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just like, slow down. Roll down the windows. Oh. Uh, yeah, guess. the stream's lagging a little bit. Sorry about It'll that. It'll be back. It does this. Oh, it is dropping frames. We don't know why. We have no idea why this happens. Ethernet? Yeah. yeah? Oh. It just does this... It's throttled, dude. It, we think so because it is Xfinity. Well, and it's yeah. like late at night. That's when it's easiest to do. Right. Yeah, and um, it does this and then just boom, right back yep. up. Yeah. No, I'm on Comcast too. I've gotten it a few times. F in the stream. <laughs> yeah. Mine um, doesn't last this long though. It's weird. Mine drop out for like a few seconds and then they'll come this back. This is actually dropped. It should come back, hopefully. Oh, yeah. there it goes. Comcast is Technical pretty bad. Please be patient. Right. Maybe. Oh. You're back to a thousand. Oh, we're going back up. Eighteen. Back down. We're making I don't it. know. This is the longest that's happened. Probably. Yeah. Have you guys oh, heard shit. that? Uh, why do Subaru owners drive with a porcupine? Why? That one. So they're not the biggest prick in the car. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hey, what up, Salty? Salty? Welcome to the stream, Lag. Hey. What up? Welcome, Welcome to the slideshow, the yep. new PowerPoint there stream. There it goes. See, then it just comes back like that. Yeah. He has a great upload when it's there. Yeah, yeah. I look at... Uh, it was a seven... Or seven... Well, it's like 7,000, but it's like 700. It's something I can appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of beer tops. And I even for drink, a Fallout. That's not all of them. I don't drink bottles very often. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah. yeah, they're saving it for Fallout Universe. Right. We're going to be rich. Yeah, no, dude, seeds are the currency of the future, dude. When everything's radioactive and all our agriculture's fucked, only seed packets are going to be valuable. That's <laughs> true. What if I kept all my cans? I had this guy that I work with. He legit has a seed bank, dude. And I was like, I was like, oh, I was, I was like, dude, you're full of shit. Like you're just talking about it. And he like really wanted me to believe him, dude. He and he showed me this like video of him opening it in his house. It's this rucksack, dude. Like this huge, like looks like Santa's fucking sack. And he opens it. It's just like a bunch of those garden packs you see at Smith's. And he's, <laughs> he's like, I have cucumbers, tomato, I have everything. He's like, I'll be able to rebuild all of the population. I guess if he really thinks that it's going to happen, I mean. I don't think there's like a nuclear fallout. <laughs> you know? <fuck>. Right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, North kinda. Korea's denuclearizing. We're good. Dude, it's the Russians. He says that like huh? every it's president. It's the worried about, dude. Hey. And then he goes, ha ha, they're, 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 they're playing it cozy with us, dude. Putin's fucking insane, man. He wants to run the world. Well, no, they're already getting protests about that shit. <laughs> Seed bank like a Reddit shoebox. Oh, oh no, 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 not the Reddit not shoebox. The, not, not that. Not that the right. cum box? Yeah. 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 Rip the dream. Yeah. No. That was back when I was first starting Stores to better really glass. use Reddit. Yeah. It was the fucking cum box. Oh, yeah. Those old Reddit stores. there for the fappening? Yeah. The, the, the was great amazing. fappening. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. The fapping dude done the by the a hacker mod, named Fortune. The, the mods couldn't keep it uh, keep up with. Like, oh yeah, they were actively taking out subreddit and like, you have to like have so many people join it before it becomes one. But there's just so many people behind it. Oh like, yeah, they couldn't stop it, dude. It was amazing until was they insane. full on banned like direct imager links and. <laughs> links and well, now there's just the website, the, the flap over flappingblog.com. Yeah, yeah. my yeah, favorite yeah. website. Every time I want to see a celebrity nude, I'm like, they have everybody. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, like, there's people, like, there was one, like, uh... Jennifer Lawrence. Dude. It's uploaded daily. <laughs> she <laughs> loves yeah. funny. They're funny. Now they just do, like, nip slips Covered and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I looked up, like, some actress from Harry Potter. I can't remember her name. Not Miami Watson. Green no, not her, but one of the not other Emma ones. Emma Watson. Um, it was the blonde. I can't remember her name. Uh, Luna. Luna, yeah. Luna. Because I saw her, like, now, and I was like, Love oh, she's good. kind of attractive. Yeah. So I Googled Luna Lovegood Fappening. Has nudes? Yep. I was like, fuck! Oh, yeah. Everyone has nudes! <laughs> yeah, dude, that cloud hack was I wonder like, if I can put me, myself on there. I bet they're good. still getting sued about that. But oh, they have to be. Dude. Well, like, as a celebrity, though, you can, like, claim, like, defamation of Oh, yeah. yeah. I guarantee you. But that one hero, dude, that one guy. <laughs> the dude. <laughs> the dude. Maybe he got caught. No one knows, but that guy. Not the he hero. was looking out for the bros and the, oh, yeah. and the, ho the whole bros. He was bros. the hero we yeah. needed. He, he was doing God's work. <laughs> yeah, 
dude. Truly doing God's He's work. like, the people need this. <laughs> the Batman of our age. He was the people's champ. <laughs> yes, really. Just <laughs> yeah. some random dude with an iPhone backdoor. <laughs> the dude. Man, I haven't jailbroken a phone since, like, the iPhone 4. Is it really? Do you, can you still get anything cool anymore? Like, yeah, back, I don't even know if you can really back, jailbreak well, anymore. Like, back in the day, it was like, you can get all the paid apps and well, all Well, nowadays, music you, you just get an Android and you just download APKs. Yeah, yeah. It, you don't need to unlock a phone and anymore. And then it's like, if you download this APK from an unknown source. There's literally, like, like Pirate Bay versions of APKs, though, that are, like, verified safe yeah. shit. That was my favorite part I never used it. Pirate Bay because I was like... They'll just see I went to the website and arrest me. No. I had the, I, I went through all sorts of... forever. <laughs> you know Sumo Tori? Yeah. I used that for a long time. What, what I did was I got what? really weird. There's a program you could get called Peer Block, which would prevent your ISP from seeing what you were downloading, but it prevented outside connections as well, so you couldn't, like, yeah, play online. any online games or anything. It's like... You would enable peer block so it would block all incoming oh, traffic. Bad And attitude. then you would download stuff, like torrents and shit. But then I always forgot it was on and I'd start trying to play online games and it was like, yo, you can't connect to our servers. And I was Flat like, tire. what is going on? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, peer block. Peer block, yep. I loved uh, the jailbreak, like city and shit, because I could have Snapchats see them forever and be able oh, to. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh yeah, deep faked. That, that's crazy. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, the fake uh, they put. Other like actresses' faces over porn. Yeah, it's bad. It's crazy. <laughs> Good for me. <laughs> bad, for them. <laughs> bad for them. Superman's removal of the mustache. Wait, what's a deep fakes? It's like so. It's an AI. It puts like, uh, like any celebrity's face over a porn star, and it looks real. It literally yeah. looks like it's them. Yeah. yeah, it's it's insane how how yeah. realistic Dang, they can you make don't it look. Ruin this. It's real. It's yeah. real. It's <laughs> yeah, it's super real. It's gotta be real. Where have you seen the, like, Photoshop thing, but for voices? Like, you can make people say anything almost? I don't like that at all. Like, the, if you have, like, a 20-minute um, recording of someone, the can program, it's like Photoshop, basically, for voices. You can, like, type it out, and it makes it sound like, not like, uh, like, you know, the shitty ones. Yeah. It sounds like a fluent sentence of their voice perfectly. Yeah, it's called interpolating. It's what it was originally crazy. used for before the deep fakes and the voice thing was they were using it to transcode 30 FPS porn into 60 FPS porn. <laughs> That's what it was originally made for. Jesus. Was it was so they higher could get quality higher quality frames. pornography. And then people started like, Oh, we could use this to put celebrities' faces or voices into this shit, <laughs> and now that's what's happening. But right. it was originally made just so they could so make sixty FPS porn Barney didn't get into four sixty girls. F- sixty <laughs> FPS porn. Barney gets four girls. It was like, like the the development of it was so weird because it was like we just want higher quality porn, and now people are like we could make this crazy like we could make this celebrity Dude, look like they're doing porn. Like, some people are way. Yeah, yeah, it's it, our technology is getting really. I love fucking those weird. like memes of like the bad ones of like. Just here with Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the lighting's just so bad. You could tell oh, yeah. he took the picture in front of his wall and like. <laughs> Salty Frank and uh, our other guy Euphoric who was in here are fast Photoshoppers. Oh, like really? they're pretty. Yeah, we got some funny shit saved from them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was um uh, our regular Jordan? He was holding up a water doing the straight water challenge, and then the <laughs> Euphoric he put a giant dick coming in his face. <laughs> Fast too, like ten minutes. Nice, <laughs> and it looks. Like, it was like, well. Besides it was that, it was the huge dick. Yeah, <laughs> it was so. Fun. Yeah, for sure. Remove a mustache from the actor. It looked awful in the movie, but it looked better when some dude. You can't shave that. the mustache, man. They're paying you like a fuck ton to do this movie. Just shave your damn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quit being a cunt. Just get it off your face. Oh yeah. Do we want that? What actors just like? No. <laughs> right. Me, you're paying me. I look like a pedophile. What are you talking about? You're paying me sixty million dollars for this film. I won't say shave my mustache. Fuck off. You think those things grow on the trees? <laughs> <laughs> if a mustache could grow on a tree. That'd be impressive. <laughs> those fucking truck hitches with like the sunglasses and the big mustache. <laughs> the, Reno, the Reno 911 look. Oh <laughs> fuck yeah, Officer Dangle. Yeah, that dude's actually really funny. Yeah, he is. What else was he in? Um, the one with Zac Efron. That's what I think. Not Neighbors, is it Neighbors? No, it's the one where he's 16 again or whatever. I think that's what it's called. 17 again with Zac Efron. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that movie a lot. What else is he? It's funny. <laughs> he's in a lot of shit. What? It's a good movie. He's still got that piece of wood with that bra. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a weird face. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta get rid of that man. <laughs> uh, the movie's actually really funny. It's a good one. Funny. Dude, you're talking about super bad, dude. People in high school used to call me McLovin from fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love super bad. Like, nice. Like McLovin. <laughs> like, yeah, I got my cigarette. When he first tries to take a cigarette. McLovin. <laughs> 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 yeah. Smoke up, nice. McLovin. Life short. Okay, so yeah. you guys know the there was two cops in it, but the like the tall guy is on SNL a lot. Yeah. He's in this new show called Barry. Have you guys watched that? Uh-huh. Oh, or mm-hmm. seen it? Dude, he plays, it's like Dexter. He's like this super, like, way elite Marine, and he's just killing people for, like, money and stuff, <laughs> dude. But he's, it's like, he's trying to become an actor, dude, but he's so fucking funny in it. His name's Bill, Bill, Bill Hader. Hader yeah. yeah, Bill Hader. So fucking funny, dude. It's on HBO. I recommend it. It's, they just put out the first season. It has oh, like, it's a series. Yeah, it has one more episode, and then it's end of season, but it is, it's so much action, and then just the stupidest jokes at the worst times, but they make it work, like, so funny. Hell yeah. Damn. There's I this, fucking love Bill Hader. Yeah, dude, yeah, he's fucking great, and I don't want to say too much, but, like, the, the episodes come out on Sunday, so I was watching the new one last night. <laughs> dude, this girl, he just, like, had the, he had to kill, like, one of his kind of friends or sort of things and he's just like having a horrible time like he did not want to do it and stuff and this girl's like I just really need you to do this for me I'm talking like she's like trying to act or something she's like I just need you to really nail your line or something like that and she's like giving him this big speech and he's just like it's the most guy thing like wait what he was just like, <laughs> just like the stupidest cheesy <laughs> jokes they fit in it's just like the writers and that it's the same guy that fucking writes Silicon Valley the same okay. guy Alec Berg or whatever he's like 60 now but he's been you guys ever see Euro Trip? Yeah, yeah. He did that forever ago. Great. That was okay. one of his like first things. Like, he's been in the thing forever. But you ever like see a director and you're like, oh, I like him, and then you just start noticing like, wait, he's every- Damn, he's, he's done every- a lot of good everywhere shit. I like. Yeah, yeah. The hell, yeah. Euro Trip's so good. <laughs> Euro Trip. I watched that again last night. He's so. Is that the one with Stacy's mom? Funny. Or not? Stacey, sorry. Uh, what's it? Scotty doesn't. No. Scotty doesn't. <laughs> yeah. no. Calls he yeah. just wants a bold shot. Hey, got yeah. your hair. You got one of those office dangle, dangle shorts. Wes, when are you gonna show up in some <laughs> dangle shorts? I'll do it for you, salty. <laughs> do it for the lo- do it for the stream. Do it for the Patreon. The Patreon. We get so many subscribers. Right. <laughs> right. Sub goal. Dangle so shorts. Dangle. <laughs> Just reminds me of a dangle shorts when he's got for his the on. ladies. Yeah. The mobility. <laughs> Showing how low he can go. Oh, what is that in? Uh, always it's always sunny. sunny. Yeah. Okay, always yeah. Shirts. He like just cut him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen the movie? Yeah, they're all. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it. Oh, it's on Netflix. Yeah, that movie's wild. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> the cage, dude. Oh. He was in, like, this new movie. It was supposed to be, like, a mega serious role. And he's just in so many memes and stuff, like... <laughs> Can't. You guys, you guys were... You guys hear about that Amy Schumer Netflix special that got taken off because it got one-star ratings. Oh, <laughs> really? She put out this special. That's when they changed the rating system. Within 24 hours, it had, like, so many five-star reviews, but, like, 3,000 one-star reviews. Oh, nice. And then, that like, two days later, they changed it to the thumbs-up and thumbs-down system. Because they said it was internet trolls that went out to of her way to. Is that nah. when she was stealing all the other people's jokes? She got caught. Yeah, that's special. But I think it's still up there. But it just has like thumbs downs and thumbs ups. Now. Yeah. But um, she went out of. She's like, it's just I have I have so many people that hate me, uh, that don't like my comedy, that just want to ruin my career and this and that. So they went and did that and stuff. And s- some guy was like reading it on Twitter, and he was like doing a live video. He was like, "You ever think you're just not that fucking funny?" Or like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, not. and then it's just like her face because she's so fat and gross, and she's like zooming in like. Oh, <laughs> I, I never it, thought it, about sure. that. I'm just not funny. She, she's awful. She is. <laughs> she's, she's awful. A garbage comedian. My vagina. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> her and that other fat blonde woman. She was super funny back <gasps> in the day, though. Lisa Jess- Montanelli. Jesse. Yeah. Oh, I thought. You'd but when she did the roasts, what was she that? Was on the roast. Oh, yeah. this is a fact. I never watched her specials, just her roasts. It's the same exact thing where it was Amy Schumer. Yeah, that is for sure. But God, when Amy she did McCarthy roast. was that her name? She was never funny, dude. She I was... liked Sarah Silverman. And I like Whitney Cummings. Yeah, Whitney Cummings is funny. Yeah. I also want to put my fedangle in her butt too. <laughs> Sarah so. Silverman? No. Well, probably her. <laughs> well, probably. But no, Whitney Cummings. I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, learn today. 
Is her last name really Cummings? Yeah. Yeah. Whitney! <laughs> He's Cummings! He's like, all oh, caps. <laughs> Slash. Oh. I know her. She, she started... looks a lot like Silver... Dude, yeah, she's a babe. Holy fuck. She started doing the jokes that way, too. She's got to be yeah. at least a No, okay, I watched her the other day. She had a thing on HBO, yeah, yeah. She has a couple really funny ones, but... Yeah. No, dude, she... I, I literally watched her the other day. She was like, what's up with all these, like, new rappers and these hip-hop artists, like, talking about, like, murdering the pussy? They're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck her up so hard. Like, you know Helen Keller? That was... She was normal till I came, you know? Like, I was so, so hard on that fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any Lord doing justice here? <laughs> <laughs> to Lord. Keep talking. Uh, <laughs> well then. Um, See, that's always but, what it is. But. So, and I was like, I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, rappers, they can't be that bad. Like, I know they talk about, like, you know, I'm going to beat that pussy up and this and that or whatever. And then I was listening to Post Malone's new album that came out a couple days ago. And I'm literally one of the songs. He's like, I'm gonna put that fucking pussy in a body bag. Yeah, I'm gonna put that bitch pussy in a fucking body, body, yeah, body, body bag. I'm like, okay, she's actually onto something here. Like, <laughs> is it, was it real? Was it there? Was it real? Mm, there's a couple, but nothing. Previously here. on Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's the one thing about bowling is we had a bunch of people who like did survivor parties and like had survivor betting pools and shit. Oh yeah, I was like, damn, I didn't know this was that crazy. <laughs> yeah, I've seen all. We're all into the fucking survivor. Hey Wes and Co, how are you? What up, Ace Platinum? Fabulous. Whoa. Who is the new blonde guy looks like Martin to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's Marvin, the giraffe from Madagascar. Yeah, I'm actually a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that stupid thing? It's like, where do giraffes put their tie? At the top of their neck or at the base of their neck? <laughs> God damn it. I love this one. Like That's the pants on, like, every animal. Would two cows wear their pants on the Oh, yeah. oh God. It's the stupidest shit, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You guys are selfish. You know, you don't just sip on your coffee. By the time it goes down a giraffe's neck and hits their stomach, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sucks, man. Giraffe <laughs> <laughs> <Rap> problems. <laughs> God Someone told me when I was fucking Calford, remember, someone's like, yo, look back. Did he say that? I don't think it was Calford. I think it was like a couple nights ago. No, Calford said it to me the one time oh, on did the he? podcast. Yeah, and it was good as fuck. She was talking about but like Calford the one time. Someone's like, yo, look back. He's like, yeah, but th- he said that. By the time he drinks coffee, it's cool, but it's his bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was watching you guys with Seth the other day, and he had his little drool. <laughs> yeah, dude, the next morning I'm on Yahoo, and the first article is, Jeweling in high schools is destroying, like, <laughs> and I'm just like, wait, I'm like, I didn't really know what a jewel was, and I looked at I it. I didn't either, I was like, yeah, and what? I, and I looked at it and stuff, and it's like, what kids think as a har- harmless alternative to cigarettes and vaping, I'm like, even though it's still pretty yeah. much a baby vape, yeah. they're like, kids in high school are, they're so, because uh, it doesn't make a really whole lot of smoke and stuff, you know, no. they can be discreet, like, Kids are using them in class. And I'm like, dude, it's fucking class. nicotine, man. Like, <laughs> all they're going to do is just be dicks to each other once right. they get grumpy. Yeah. Like, uh, Can I have some more of your vape if you don't mind? Yeah, no, dude. I got Thank you, sir. plenty of juice it. with me today. Load up. <laughs> dude, I wasn't expecting that. Giraffes them. obviously <laughs> put on seven ties for one for every segment, and I appreciate the fact you Googled how many segments they have <laughs> in their neck. Thank you for learning about my culture. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, are you guys actually all watching Survivor? Uh, me and Ace Platinum are. Okay. Oh, okay. You got a betting pool going? Is that no? Is that oh. one where like naked and shit? All no, the time? that's naked. And no, that's afraid. naked and afraid. Yeah. Isn't there another one? It's like Gladiator and they're naked. It's like couples and they're. Or is that the one I'm thinking of? Okay. There's a couple different ones. Yeah, that's pretty popular now. Yeah, people yeah, just yeah. like watching naked people struggle in the well, wilderness. It's like, <laughs> it's like, str- it's like Damn, public like, TV that's like kind of shine. blurred. Like, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine, like, 20 years and nothing's blurred and it's, like, actually open? To yeah. I imagine in the EU they probably get away with it. people are like, you fucking young kids. Yeah, most of the EU channels aren't even... Yeah. I mean, you show tit. Europe, dude, Europe does it right. They have fucking brothels, and, like, so many legal drugs. Like, they're doing it right. That's oh, free. Yeah. That's freedom, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> freedom, baby. I didn't Google it. All mammals have seven segments in the neck, boyo. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, Ace Platinum, it's going to be a good There's episode. There's a random Salty Frank facto for you, boyo. <laughs> awesome. Salty Frank knows everything. No one calls me boy but my dad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I might get heat for this, but I like Big Brother over Survivor. I've never watched it. Big I think Brother's that's okay. great, yeah. dude. Big Brother's great. It's more drama for sure. See, I like yeah. the challenge over both of them. I like the clicks, dude, where they're like, this guy's in like four groups, but he's secretly in this one. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was like that's the best. Is the I can't keep up how, with reality how TV. Shady people are, dude. It's like so that's why I like the challenge because it's been like pretty much the same people since the dawn of time, and it's built for drama. But then they just do like cool challenges. They're funny, as dude. They're, like standing on like I saw this one. They're like on a rock climbing wall, but sometimes the rocks just randomly like come in. So uh, someone's hanging on with one hand, and they're like fuck <laughs> in the mud. <laughs> Yeah. What a great show. Yeah. I don't keep up with reality TV, but then I'm like, there's this Twitch couple who just had a baby. I'm like, yo, mom, they had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Check this shit out. I'm like, dude, it's so cute. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's just this blob. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they had Babies, it on stream. I'm sorry, I don't, when people are like, it's so cute. I'm like, I don't get it, man. It looks like, like every other fucking baby. <laughs> Well, like, their eyes are always just, like, fucking so gooey, and, like, they're snot. It's gross, dude. Kids are gross. In the I early stages, yeah, they're just a, an alien blob. <laughs> I hate babies. Morphous. Toddlers yeah. even worse. Preteens even worse than that. And teenagers, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> I hate all of them. I love bo- looking back and be like, I can't believe I fucking did that. What the fuck? Right. Right. Sick. I like, uh, shout-outs to Big Brother Canada, because one of the big poker players now is a... Or one, one of the guys who was on that is now a big poker streamer on oh, Twitch. Hell yeah, Kevin Martin. Shout out to him. He's okay. cool, dude. Hell yeah, Kevin. Big Brother is probably a good show. I've seen the Australian version, which is different. Yeah, kind of Shark of Tank stuff. over there. I love Shark Tank. Shark Tank's the shit. Yeah, they're cool. Shark Tank's so good. It's gonna be the next American Idol where there's only gonna be the one original judge left. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Well, of, like the one guy. Um. The he's Cubes. doing yeah Mark Cuban's like doing a ton of television now yeah he's in a lot of stuff now it's, uh, it's like black hair yeah he owns the, the Dallas Mavericks always, yeah he owns the Mavericks oh, okay, yeah. yeah he's doing okay. tons of television right now I think right he bought an esports team yeah he did. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, Overwatch I believe right uh, he's bought in League and Overwatch okay yeah. yeah he's and now he's doing he's in like films left right in the center is he yeah, yeah. He's doing a ton. <laughs> yeah, he was in uh, that one that the workaholics guys did. Yeah, he's I'll on that one. <laughs> he watched it. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, I just it's watched uh, funny. Game Over Man. It's so it's one of those movies that's over the top ridiculous, but it's hilarious. Yeah, it was a just lot. Just when he gets through this thing, right in the numbers. Right. <laughs> like the Disney spoofed Shark Tank in a show once called <laughs> calling it Barracuda Tank. You guys ever watch The Amazing... Yeah, I watched The Amazing Race with the fucking... Uh, I was on something super The YouTube fun. people. Because Bernie from... Bernie who runs Rooster... One of the owners of Rooster Teeth was on it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go get my other beers out of the car. Just let that sit in the car. And amazing. Yeah, I like, I like Amazing Race. It's an interesting one. Just because it's all language barrier. Yeah. Dude, I had a bad phase where, like, I would, like loved Jersey Shore dude. dude I've seen every episode of Jersey Shore I oh come on Jersey Shore is good I loved that shit dude and fucking what was her name Jay Wall was so fucking hot dude. oh yeah oh, my God. I'd motorboat those fake titties till I got a concussion super <laughs> fake but really super nice fake, job but super nice yeah, yeah no like, Jersey Shore dude that like I loved it and like fucking where like when Mike Mikey or whatever what the fuck call him like punched that fucking wall and yeah. like, headbutted <laughs> it and like Fucking, that's a drunk, that's hey, a drunk story. It's the situation to you, dude. Oh, yeah. The sitch, the sitch. Yeah, the sitch. They made so much fucking money off yeah, of it, too. Enough beer to get everyone drunk. Uh, oh, <laughs> bad. <laughs> um, there was There's uh, no one if you want it. No, I'm good for it. Might as well finish her off. <laughs> it's got that weird clue. special cozy. <laughs> there was this awkward thing, so the situation wanted to get into stand-up comedy. Oh, really? And, uh... Don't you have to be funny to do that? <laughs> yeah. They had him on the roast of somebody. Oh, yeah. And it was so bad. Like... He's just a douche or, like... No, like... Because, you know, when you listen to comedians talk about, like, shitting in front of crowds, like, it happens to everybody. Like, you go out and you'll do, like, a oh, set yeah. and you'll just get shit on because of how awful you are. Um, he went on live television and in front of a huge audience and not a single joke landed. Ooh. Like, he would say something and he would kind of like, <laughs> like, do his little, you know, cocky thing and everyone's just like... Dude, who's one of the funniest, though? Fucking Snoop-a-loop. Dude, Snoop's so good at roasting. Have Snoop you guys heard um, 
Kanye West's new single that he put out. To, yeah, like, make Super Dee Poop. Boy. Yeah, that one? Super Boopy Poop. Yeah. <laughs> Childish Gambino put out a new song. Yeah, we listened cool. to it. Yeah. 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 What up, Cashback? Hey. Cash be at, Cash be at Z9. Shut up, dude. Is. What up, my dude? Anything post-Jersey Shore has been weak. Dude, okay, so I was on my honeymoon in fucking Cancun. And this, and this show is a Jersey Shore knockoff completely. Like, even the scene transitions look knocked off, and they call it Ocopoco Shore. <laughs> Ocopoco <laughs> Shore. Dude, me and my wife were just fucking, my ex-wife were just hammered, like, 24-7 in Cancun. We That was, like, our favorite thing to watch. Is we had, they, there was no subtitles, and it was all in Spanish. Later, Ace. So we were, like, just making up stories, like, Oh, she's mad at that bitch for wearing the same dress. Oh, she's mad at that. <laughs> she's, like making these stories, dude. But like, we're like, that's the Poly D. Oh, that's that's J Y. That's the Snooky. You can tell which one's the Snooky. Remember the yeah. show we watched in the sewer rat. The zombie. Oh my god, that movie. Was it's ca- it's oh. a show. It's like called Z Nation or something. It's supposed to be like a comedy Walking Dead kind of thing. Was it oh, a comedy? Gosh. I thought they were taking it serious. Oh no. Oh. And like uh, Jesus Christ, it was so bad. They like showed up, and it's like it's like in a zombie apocalypse, and they get they were taken by these people, and they were juggalos, but it was the end of the world zombies, so they were called <laughs> Zuggalos. Oh my god! And it was so bad, like they were doing all this weird juggalo stuff, like drinking Fago and shit, <laughs> and then they were doing a rap Fucking battle for their freedom. Yeah. What the fuck. And so like we're in Mesquite, <laughs> fucked up, like. What is this? We are watching this for sure. Oh but it was God. like so bad, even being fucked up. Like you're like, this is too much. But like I fell asleep and stuff, and I fell asleep too. But guess what? I woke up like three hours later and it was on again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was stuck in a trap. Dude, the fucking workaholics juggle ups. <laughs> oh I mean, yeah. He starts dating that juggle girl. Oh no, the girl from the office. Yeah. Uh, becomes a juggle dude. And, Workaholics. Is Every time I watch Workaholics, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> how is this, how is this, like, on TV? Yeah, that's no, so good. They're still making it, right? Yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. sure. Yeah, they got confirmed for a new season. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. They were starting out as a YouTube sh- thing. Yeah. They have a whole, there's a whole season, I've never even seen it, but a whole season that's not on TV prior to, because, like, I don't know, I saw a video talking about how, like, they were starting making it and shit. Watching weekly is Joe McHale show and Top Show. For- hey, thanks, Dingo. Hell yeah. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, uh, lost my train of thought. Never mind. We're talking about workaholics. And yeah. Like- oh, uh, I'm surprised that the biggest person that came out of that show is the Adam. Yeah. Adam Divine. Yeah, because I demand. No, he's my yeah, Divine, yeah. he's my least favorite out of the trio. Oh, I love him the most, dude. Really? I like how. He he's like the center of his own universe, and when like one thing does go to plan, he's like taking it so personal. He's like, "This is my big day." Right. Like, when he's that bodybuilding competition, <laughs> like that whole like this that episode. You're so loose, butthole. Shows his. <laughs> no, I didn't say you had. <laughs> he's just really good at that. He's nailed that character down in everything. In everything, in everything, everything he's in. That's how. That's the character he plays, yeah. and he's nailed it. That's how T J Miller is. Yeah. Oh yeah. He has in Deadpool. Yeah, yeah dude. He's, that's Sorry. one guy. He's not in the second Deadpool. They, he was like coming so drunk to the set. Or, stuff? Yeah, he was like coming drunk and he had a sexual thing. But oh, shit. he's not in the. He was filmed in it, and then they have taken him out because of what oh, he did. Oh god! Mm. Like totally redoing. He's fucking it. hilarious though, which sucks. That I saw some fucking funny things. They're like, it was just like the classic Deadpool stuff. It was on Reddit. Maybe you guys saw it, but like, oh, what they need to do is just replace him with like a really similar looking guy and have Deadpool be the only one that notices. Like, where the fuck is him? Yeah. 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 What are you talking That's about? I'm him. No, you're not. Who the fuck is him? And everybody's like, yeah, that's the guy. And he's like, in the bar, it's, it's me, guys. Like, no, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> the one that yeah. notices. Yeah. That ain't good. You think that movie's going to beat Infinity War? Beat Being it? Being a rated R movie? I got a pre-screening to Infinity War. I was pretty disappointed. Oh. You read all the comics? No. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on it, yeah. A lot of people For, really like, the geeks it. that read this, I read that movie 16 years ago. Like, I knew exactly what was going to happen when I go in. I knew the ending. Like, I was ready for the ending and stuff. And they ended it in a horrible place because, like, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, no. But, like, I'm, I'm, like, a comic geek, man. Like, I, like, grew up on that shit. And I had so many collectibles that I was just, like, I had my friend's little brothers so that I wanted to get them to it. So I give them a nice copy and stuff. I was like, if I kept those, dude. Right. But, oh, yeah. But, no, I mean, like, it's all about they're trying to use, like, 
fighting. Like that's all it is. It's just like cool fights and stuff. There's like hor- there's like so many important details are not coming in and stuff. Like right. Doctor Strange is so simplified. Like he's pretty much the greatest thing ever. And he's pretty much if you guys have seen uh, Game of Thrones, yeah, he's pretty much the three eye Raven. He pretty much right. like, he's super powerful, but he chooses to do like almost nothing. Like he knew. Have you guys seen Infinity War? No. no. Oh, so. No spoilers, hopefully, but he knows exactly what's going to happen. He says it has to happen for the timelines and the universes or whatever. But he's, like, debatably the strongest character in all the universes and stuff. And he's such a pussy in the film. And it's the fucking Cumberdick. I hate that fucking guy. Yeah. Cumberpat, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Cumberpat. Benedict so, like, Cumberpatch. I'm just sitting there. I'm just, like, the geek that's just, like... Not having fun. Not, like, it was cool. Like, it was shot well. It was really well made. Oh, yeah. But just, like... It's all fighting. And then, like... There's this little bit, and I don't want to tread lightly here, but every film now has this, like, stupid little feminist thing they got to throw in just to to please the crowd, you know? So it's like, with Wonder Woman and stuff, dude, she had to say, you know, it's it's like one of the last lines then, she's like, uh, they're like, you thought it would be easier to get a man to do the job or something like that. But really, and it's just like, and and they're playing that and stuff, it's like, you're getting so political and, like, this is supposed to be, like, an alternate universe and like yeah. why are you putting politics in this a lot of movies are doing that nowadays yeah like oh, I say yeah. it's like almost required dude you have to have if you don't have enough black guys then you're a white you're a white film you're a whitewashed film if you have too many black guys then you're it's just like uh, what's that you one you can't keep everyone happy man with uh, the dude from One Direction the Dunkirk yeah that one people are pissed about that because it wouldn't have any black people in it or yeah. I, saw, yeah. I saw Dunkirk it's like they made it one Direction correct guys for the time yeah. it's that blonde dude He's yeah, I saw it. I just don't remember. Uh, what's his name? Was he actually in the band? Yeah, what's his name from it? Uh, Harry Styles? Yeah, Harry Styles. Oh, that was him? Yeah. He played, oh, He was. didn't play the main dude, but he played the... Oh, he didn't. Mm. Oh, okay, I was like, I remember the main dude. Yeah, that Should. film was awesome, dude. Yeah, it's it was a good movie. long, though. It's like two and a half hours. That was my problem with it. Like, yeah. There wasn't enough going <laughs> on in that... <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't enough going on in that movie for it to justify being... That long, three hours, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I want, like... I, it was good, definitely. It was like, sad. But just a slight... Oh, I guess he's not blonde. holding anyway. his... Him? Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, he's like holding that wood or whatever, and he's like, go America. Right. Fuck those Chinese bastards. <laughs> well, because like, if you watch like Saving Pirate Ryan, I'm a big fan of that movie, but it's like... No way. It's like three hours of like, I'm in this movie. movie. Yeah. I know who hate comic book movies went to see Infinity War. Oh, yeah, to answer the question, Deadpool's way better than Oh yeah, I yeah. think Deadpool's like, better. Like just accuracy with like, yeah. the comic, and he's a newer comic, so maybe yeah. it's easier and stuff. But like, the the other problem, box office wise, it won't be because it is a rated R movie. Right. Rated R movies just don't perform nearly as strongly at the box office. Wait, is that true? Yes. Yeah, it's true. But everyone was blown away with how much Deadpool made. It will. It will be pretty astounding. Do you think for it will be film? But it's not going to be. Do you think Infinity it'll be Black War. Panther? Probably not. It'll get close, but. Yeah, dude. The rated R film is going to limit. Black Panther was, like, super, like, it came out of nowhere, dude. Like, people were excited for it. Like, people that wanted to see it, like, definitely were super hyped. But even, like, the nerds and stuff, like, oh, it's just, like, a little side character and stuff. But he's, like, mega, he's, like, badass. Like, his suit's, like, bulletproof and shit. Like, it's pretty much better than Iron Man, almost. And he's, like, physically way strong. Yeah. Just Tony Stark without a suit is, like... See, and I haven't seen that movie yet. But I've heard... I've heard a lot of people saying that movie gets really touchy with the political stuff too I like race politics yeah yeah Yeah. and like maybe too much information I've been having like seizures lately so I had to see that movie the second time because the first time I had like a seizure and stuff oh shit and dude the first time I like when I had a seizure or something like I had a hallucinate or something because like I watched it the second time like wait wait isn't this part where they get on the boat and I'm talking to my girl and stuff she's like there's no boat in this I'm like no they get on the boat and they get on the or something it was so stupid I'm like that didn't happen babe Damn, why are you getting seizures? Like, I don't know, dude. It happened twice last year. I went to see Alien Covenant because I love the fucking Alien films, dude. Those are badass, oh, yeah. dude. And I was like the midnight release or something stupid, and I was like ready to see it, dude. And I made it five minutes in, and I wake up, dude. And my dad, I took my we were at Ruby's. My dad was taking me to Instacare. I'm like, I'm just like so sweaty. I remember like touching my forehead, and it felt like I had like pulled like waters of hand, and I was like just dead in sweat. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I'm like, he's like, going to Instacare right now. I'm like what the fuck happened stuff dude he's like I just looked over and I 
fucking pouring my beer all over me. He's like, you just took a sip from your beer and you were sending it down. And then you're just like, fucking. Oh, shit. I don't know what's happening. Is it dude. epilepsy at all? They dude? say it's like early signs of epilepsy. I oh, guess no. you can, I guess adults can develop it and stuff. But, dude, I'm like really fucking tripped out because I play a lot of video games and shit, dude. Like, yeah. flashing lights. And what if I'm like alone one time just fucking break my neck or some shit? But, um, really got dark there fast <laughs> no, I mean. but yeah so I, I've been having to see like be really careful like both Black Panther and, and Alien Covenant were shot with a certain blue light ratio or something like that and apparently I have like a threshold limit of how much blue light I can get before like it's weird get it's the like super blue blockers yeah get the gunners the gunners I, yeah. I'm no joke so I I had a pair of like five dollar ones yeah. cause I was having prop like my vision's been getting worse and worse just cause stare at screens a lot but uh I bought like a cheap pair of them and I they broke but I still use them at night like when it's close to bed helps so much yeah so I should should look into it for sure but it's been like started when I was 19 it was like once every year but last year dude they're like worried that because it's happening more frequently I'm just like fuck dude like what I don't know what to do about it like it's one of those things they can't really well like they treat epilepsy with like cannabis (laughs) they they do like extracts and stuff that um the mar- the medicinal marijuana in Utah, I think tomorrow, if you're a terminal patient, you can uh, be... <laughs> I'm not terminal. <laughs> yeah, if you're terminal. Just say, hey, I'm just dying. dying. Yeah, I can dying season people. to death. Just so Dude, what bugs me about the Utah thing is we had it legalized for extracts and like what? concentrates for like two weeks, right? and then they, they took it away, dude. Yeah. There was like this KUTV 14 story or whatever of like this little girl. It was so hot, awesome. She had like epilepsy horribly, and she always wore a helmet. And they were giving her, they, they passed legally so they could give her concentrate THC. And they're like, her seizures have stopped, this and that, dude. And I saw that story, I'm like, this is badass. And then, like, a week later on Facebook, I see they repealed it and stuff. I'm like, all I saw was that little girl, like, smiling for her first time. And it's now, I'm like, well, fuck. Like, yeah. you just fuck that little girl, dude. Like, yeah. these old ass rich guys and fucking assholes. Yeah, I was doing some, like, deep web stuff with, like, big pharma conspiracies, dude. You guys hear that thing about, like, the Oxycontin and stuff? Like, what happened with that and why we, were, like, have such a bad academic, how it even started? Uh-uh. Well, isn't it because they're putting additives into the Oxycontin? Uh, I read that somewhere that it's... That's not what I read, but I wouldn't be surprised. So, they were using Oxycontin. They said it was a way to get off any hard drug. Mm-hmm. It, will, it will get you off any hard drug. Um, but when they were testing and stuff on, like, animals, they found it was insanely, like, super highly addictive and stuff. And they didn't disclose that when they first started signing it. So people were given like these heroin addicts, Oxycontin and stuff. And now they're having even a harder time uh, because they were writing checks. They said, prescribe them this new drug. We're trying to sell it. They wrote them $500 checks for every, every fucking one they signed. Every prescription, they got $500 check. So doctors are just getting like 30 grand in the mail just for writing Oxycontin stuff, dude. And they, they knew, the big pharma knew how horribly addictive it was, but these doctors did and stuff. Right? Yeah. So, like, there was, like, this huge counter assault from, like, these doctors that took the, you know, the Hippocratic Oath, they all take it, say, we'll only treat people to make them better. We're not going right. to... Like, this is literally, de- de- like, violates everything we devote our doctorate to and this and that. And they, like, sued him and stuff, and they settled, but it was so quiet that people are still, like, still horribly hooked on this. So then yeah. Suboxone came out, and they lied about Suboxone. Because if you, you don't, does anyone here know anyone on Suboxone? No, I don't know anyone. No one gets off it, dude. Yeah. You're, if you're on Suboxone, you stay on it. Like, you're, it's supposed to be, it blocks opioid and it, like inhibits o- opioid receptors so you can't get high off opioids, but it's like a synthetic opioid. Right. Yeah. Um, but the, it was the exact same story, dude. They knew that it was way more addictive and this and that, but Big Pharma can just sell these doctors and they can write these things and they pay them like... Lots of money. Huge money. And dude, mm-hmm. it's like, how do you stop such a powerhouse like there's not a single fucking if a group of doctors actively went and sued out then they walked out with just a, a settlement and they're still doing the exact same thing yeah. dude that's what yeah. scares me man and which leads to they're the same people that fight in kind of cannabis they're the exact same people oh, yeah. that fight oh, yeah. because it puts out half their pharmaceuticals that have 30 side effects that fix one problem oh yeah and then you need two pills to help with the other side effects yeah like, well, and then they keep trying to develop synthetic marijuana, but because they have to keep adding a bunch of shit into it to make it viable, it ends up being unpassable through the, uh, the DEA. <coughs> K2 and shit. You guys know that drunken wisdom you hear? Like, this one drunk guy says the smartest thing you've ever heard, but he, you know he's just a horrible drunk guy. <coughs> I was at, cheers for you. Um, this is like when I first turned 21, like really close to it at least. 
And I was at this bar, and this guy just, like, is, like, fucking shit. I'm, like, blanking on the story. He was, like, super passed out, dude, and all he does is just, like, comes up and says this line, and then just falls back down. But, shit, what was the line? We're talking marijuana. Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals. Synthetic marijuana. Oh, he's, like, he's, like, I'm not a man of God. He's, like, but if God's real, he's, like, he made it smell so we could find it. And then <laughs> <laughs> Because I was, ta- I was like, I either smelled a bit like pot or I was talking to someone about pot, but he was like right next to us. He just sits up and looks at us. He's like, I'm not a man of God. He's like, but if he's real, then he made it stinky so we could find that shit. It's bullshit. It's illegal or something. And then just pass it back <laughs> out. The three second wisdom from the drunk guy. I'm like, well, think Damn. about it. Like if there is intelligent design, how would you get someone to find something that's like, oh. a, it's a good cure. It like, it's natural. It grows in the fucking ground everywhere on the fucking planet. You make a smell like a skunk, you know, and then you can find it anywhere. Right. And I was like, like I'm a hardcore atheist, but that's, if there was intel- intelligent design, you know, so, I mean, that's not a bad sign, you know, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's, he made it stinky so we could find yeah, it. Really. <laughs> yeah, really. I was going to say, my hands smell like lead. Oh. Like that's why you're, <laughs> yeah. I know you were trying to say something. Like, like huh. definitely huff it more. Like, I've been like, like writing with pencils and getting like. Oh, weird. Oh, you touch anything? It's so, I don't, oh, they're kind of black. Oh. Huh. Weird. I don't feel so good, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, you touched, you touched. <laughs> Something um, over here. Salty Franks is writing us, and we're not even. Uh, Deadpool isn't accurately, actually that accurate to the comics, but it's still pretty funny. If Deadpool was to be accurate, it'd be some torture scenes with Al the blind lady. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can put torture in no. there. No. It's like they can't kill kids in um, actual... There was you know, movies. one movie that it was like this, these government agents like from the like diplomats got held hostage by these people and they were like cutting off their fingers and like torturing. I don't know what movie it was, but I'm like, how did this get on screen? Like, this is like human torture. Yeah. And I thought, I thought that was banned and stuff. I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. I think it depends because there's torture in, uh, it depends on, Triple yeah. X has a. The, the rats in the bucket. Yes. Yeah, but I think it has to be... That's true. Uh, like, I think when they do it over the top towards kind of like a saw, when they make it gore... Like, like a horror base? There's like a yeah. gore... I don't know, something with gore and horror that they can show, you know? like. Well, they did the torture scene in the James Bond movie where he had the... They took his pants off and put him on the chair and whipped that big stone into his balls. Oh, yeah. And they tortured him to get information. Must have missed that James Bond. <laughs> it was fucking... Must it was, missed that one. It was the first one with the new James Bond. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh not Skyfall. Uh, uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, okay, I did say that. Daniel Craig? Yeah. Yeah, he's I a I tried doing dude. that one thing where he drinks the scorpion on his hand and then flips it on the counter and then puts a cup over it. Remember Where'd that? you get a scorpion? What? <laughs> you don't remember when I had a scorpion forever? Did it sting you no. ever? No, so I, I have a video. I'll show you guys. Oh, snap. Yeah, where was I during? I don't remember no scorpion. So I... Um, <laughs> You can buy them. The I know you can buy them, but why would you want one? I would because I wanted to do that scene. I would wake up. <laughs> and I would wake over and my tank would be spilled, and I'd just be like, "I'm gonna house shit. down." Yeah, I'm that's like people with snakes. Music like, oh. dude, my cousin. Don't even, dude. I'm tired of snake people. My yeah. cousin has like but here's the... an entire wall of his house with glass things just oh. filled with. Oh, my neighbor had like that. I'm just like, dude, one little pebble through that window, oh, yeah. you're just gonna have fucking. <laughs> Some of them are like poison. Like, yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, but here's the video of me with the scorpion when I was trying to make that scene from... Is that a king? Yeah. Holy fuck, he looks pissed. You're not even wearing a shirt. You're like, all right. I was drunk. <laughs> it's a glass of whiskey. You don't think he's going to sting you this whole time? I could have. Oh, my God. Just right in the fucking side of the head. <laughs> Just drunk <laughs> and whiskey. <laughs> Trying to not drink it too fast because I didn't want to anger him. But then I tried getting him off my hand and it wouldn't come off. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Retake. I was like, well, this is the third one. I'm getting drunk. <laughs> I guess he's here now. <laughs> he's just like, hey, he just know. walks away. All right. Brett was didn't work out. taunting him one time. trying to Because Brett wanted to know what it felt like to be stung. So Brett was making him sting him. Oh god. Did he actually get him? Yeah, a bunch of times. Is Aren't they poisonous? Not no. enough. Small ones are. It's kind of like a bee sting. I just see... Have you guys seen that wilderness extreme guy that gets stung by everything? 
Yeah. yeah. Bear Grylls? No. No. Oh, yeah. Brave Wilderness. No, dude, I saw this huge exposed thing on Bear Grylls. I'm just ashamed now of oh, how much I believed there? in him. It's yeah. bad, dude. There's like this one, he's in the middle of nowhere. And like one of the camera guys is like whoever leaked it, it just pans over and there's like parking lot right now. Oh. And it's like bear. He, it's this one where he like strips off his clothes and he's he's like running in the snow naked. He's like, you have to stay warm. You have to keep your blood moving or you won't you won't freeze and stuff. And then like they cut and he, there's just this canopy and he has this huge blade like yeah. instantly. It's, he, oh. he did do a lot of crazy shit, but like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming out. Like I can't remember who, it's someone's parents we knew ran into him while he was filming all the stuff and he was staying in a hotel for the night. No. Oh. So he would... But, like, so he did do the crazy shit. Like, he did cut open a deer's body. Yeah. And and Luke Skywalker, it. that shit. But, like... Uh, but he didn't, you know, survive. Survive. Yeah. Uh, I liked Man vs. Wild. Yeah, no, that guy's pretty cool. sure. I'm pretty sure he was real. Yeah, yeah. it's because it was just anything, him and cameras. I haven't seen him with anything else. Before. And you're thinking of Coyote Peterson. The brave woman. Yeah, dude. Yeah, keeps dude. getting stung and... He's, like, addicted to, like... He's a pain or something, yeah, or whatever it is. But dude, I see him do it. And he's just like gets stung. And he's like has a sick smile on his face. Oh like, god, you sick fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, he you're re- getting poisoned by like the bullet ant. Like, yeah, people die from that. They get swarmed and just die from these things. And he's just like, yeah, he started with the the bite scale. He did a bunch of animals that bit him, and then he did the sting the sting scale and went oh. up the whole entire thing to the bullet ants and. P- Poison Ivy? <laughs> Man, I forget how many good videos I have on here. I've, the one time I was trying to... So one time I did the fish thing where you drink a fish and then spit it, like... Burp it up? Yeah. I did it one time when I was super drunk with a beta. So I was trying to do it again while I was sober. Oh, no. <laughs> but then I just... I was fast forward. But then I just end up, like, throwing up just this fish because, like, it won't come up. And then I just throw up in with this fish and then... That's just a dead fish and throw up. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Poor and then when I was... I have another one here. That's my when you filmed me. The yeah, that was a long time ago. But then... That poor fish. I was doing the brick thing, like, where you put the nail board and then break a cinder block over you. Oh. Wait, what? I haven't seen that. Let's see if it's going to play. Fuck, it better play. <laughs> He's got a little adventure. <laughs> put up all these videos on social media. I, I wish this one would load. I didn't ever play it just because it was, like, not my girl I did for her, but the ex-girlfriend before that. She just keeps saying dumb shit in this video. Yeah. She's like, oh, my God, Forrest. I'm like, I'm Forrest. I can't believe you couldn't self-promote on live stream fills. I know. It's so what? sad. And I didn't even, like, I didn't put anything at all. Like, I didn't yeah. say anything. Oh, I wouldn't let you? Yeah. The, what happened? The puke one, I put it on live stream fails, read it, uh-huh. and they removed it for self-promotion. So I asked a mod, I was like, I'm not trying to self-promote. I don't have my name anywhere. I don't have anything posted what, you know, yeah. what I'm from. How did they know you did it, though? I have no idea. What, did they respond? Yeah, the dude was Were just a on, fucking like, cop. Were you on, like, a Top Shelf Reddit account? No. Uh, yeah. That's probably Yeah, right. that's why you can't have your name. So just, like, You would have to be, like... You're a throwaway or something. Because if you have some, like, if you... Anyone that does AMA, you can say if it's proved by AMA. But there's, like, giant people. Like, I can't remember... Who was it? It was in his podcast. He was like a huge dude, and but because his name was his Reddit name, they deleted his account and said he was self promoting and shit. A huge dude, not yeah. like Joe Rogan, but someone yeah. big like that. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, Reddit's serious with their rules. The dude, it's a subreddit, not really the, the the dude response was just such a cocksucker, like neck beard response. He didn't you believe me. you. Much. Well, no, he just like you got to make sure you read up on the rules of self-promoting. And he didn't give me an answer, like a straight answer. Like if he just said, "Yeah, you can't have your account name be, you know, you." Yeah. I was like, cuz I went through and I read their self-promotion thing and there was nothing on there still that like, I oh, broke. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like it just says, "Don't, you know, it was pretty basic and it was like, "Don't put your name blah 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 blah." Yeah, yeah. It had to be your yeah. I'll just make a throw they're gonna be yeah. Yeah. cocksuckers about it. Well, I mean, I think I can do it online. Pretty much anyone that any yeah. clip that's not from a big person is self promoted mm. like on live stream fails. Like yeah. everybody's right. putting up their own shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Salty, you could post it in live. Well, then all fails. the stuff that ends up on the top is Ice Poseidon, Andy, and fucking like Shroud. soda. Didn't that motherfucker take his penis out? Ice Ooh. Poseidon's a fucking crackhead now. Some Wait. there was some <laughs> dude who took his penis out on Twitch. Like some big dude. I think it was Ice. Eh, I don't want to bash. Oh, Ice, Ice was, isn't on that, Twitch Sky, anymore. Right? I don't know. Minecraft. 
I don't know. He took his dick out and like was waving around. Well, no, like, ice, ice, and them. They're not what? like fucking with like homeless people and shit. It's just messed up at this oh, point. You know, it's so ice bad. Society? Yeah. What's he doing? They're like messing with homeless people and shit now like for what? views. Like, like they took a homeless guy off the street and they're like, "Yo, sit in this closet for a hundred bucks." Like they they're just like, "What are you gonna do with this money, man?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm probably gonna buy crack." And they're like, "I'm not gonna give you money to buy crack." Is you that know? The, is that the same dude that? Uh, See, wait, go back up. So, you can have your name as long as so as long as your account name, because like, obviously, her, her name is there. No, your account name. So that's like, what I'm saying. Casanova. So you can have your name as long as your account name. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just I would just switch the name. Just fucking yeah. show your our name everywhere. Ice meets like. a streamer. Let's see what Ice is doing. I just can't doing have any. Um. We can't play pull it? it. No, yeah, I don't want to play it. Is that TOS? That's what I'm saying. Just don't. Yeah, you can't restream a stream. Yeah, you're good. It's not what uh, desktop audio never went through. Yeah. So yeah, we just can't show it. Yeah, that girl is gross. Meets a streamer and her friend. That oh girl God. Is way. Dude, gross. to be honest with you, the blue one's like. <laughs> yeah, dude. What is up with the hair? Super. I don't know. I would p- prefer the blue hair over the well, skin. The other one looks like a crack hand. Yeah. He does look skinny as fuck. I hope he's not on crack. I don't know. Him and him and the people he hang with have been doing a lot of uh, uh, questionable content. They, they're they on YouTube now. But yeah, they're like, there's quite a few clips of them where they're just like fucking with homeless people and shit. And it's just not They're cool. trying to be <laughs> fucking what's his name? Jake Paul. Yeah. It's just, it's just bad. Uh, I never knew what controversial actually sorts in. Controversial is uh, comments to upvotes ratio. Yeah. So something that has like a ton of comments and not a lot of upvotes will end up in controversial. You can do hot and then go back up real quick. Because this was like a week ago. Yeah, so do. only show us hot grills. <laughs> if you go up and it'll be like hot and then do top, just do top on there, and then you can usually pick, yeah. Oh, okay. Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler one breaks Soda Poppins' heart. Tyler one is a weird character too. <laughs> I think he's funny as hell. I mean, he got banned for a while because he was a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody is like that. Like, every toxic person likes that in this league. He was just the only one streaming it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Like, I know I've been flamed by people a lot worse than what he ever said. Forsen, yeah, your Forsen's huge. Forsen, Soda. A lot of those people. Tyler. Dude, Soda goes through these years where, like, he'll only have, like, 15k viewers one year, and now, like, recently it's 50k all the time. So oh, yeah. Like, he'll go up and down. So that? No. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for the guy that pulled out his dick? Is that yeah. Right? I just want to know who it was. I think my favorite one I've seen on here in the <laughs> past little me. while is the the Russian girl who, uh, like, fake masturbated for subs. Yeah. Now she's on Jasmine or whatever. No, she got unbanned from Twitch a day later. She got a one-day ban on Twitch for fake masturbating for subs. Oh, what? Yeah. What's? Yeah. So, one day... Oh, one, if we oh. can get some subs, you can masturbate for some subs. You're not a girl, though. You do it for real, though. All right. Uh, I saw this thing. It says Fortune accidentally showed his dick on stream recently. Oh, nice. Was it Fortune accidentally? I don't know. I it wasn't accidentally. Doing. It says Le- Leiden FPS forgets to turn off his stream. No, it's stream. definitely not that. He pulled his dick out and was waving it for the stream. Oh, God. There's been a couple of RuneScape girls that got banned for showing boobs. I don't know what it is about RuneScape streamers, but they do some crazy shit. Ice was a RuneScape streamer. It's a browser game, dude. Browser (laughs) games are... (laughs) That's the key. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and go through all this. Don't care that much. Yeah. Some big streamer took his dick out. Could I post it? Yeah, you could, Salty. Some they might be looking for that clip now. They'll be like, oh my god, it's the talk oh show. Oh my god. Vegan. He's the guy that wants us to show his feet all the time. Dude. No, not Salty. Isn't it Salty? Uh, no, Salty's our mod. And it's what's the guy that always wants Nico. Feet yeah. Vegan. It's Nico. <laughs> TK, man, was he saying something? Like, he explained it the one time. Yeah, he's making some, like, 
video for something. Oh, we had a compilation of streamers showing their feet. I guess. I don't know what it was, but he's doing something. There's videos like that. He was like your boy, Nicholas, or something. He was telling us, like, he's like, just came and stop by and say hello. Um, I can't remember what he said. He's really nice. Yeah. He gave us bits. Mm. So. Just wants feet pics. Yeah. Force is the tease of his life. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's like, you're wearing Nikes today. It's like, (laughs) weird ass kid. I, I hope one day feet, I'm just man. like st- scrolling through something and just videos of me kind of showing my feet. <laughs> <laughs> just labeled the biggest fucking tease. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you guys want to call it for tonight? Sure. 2.30-ish? Yeah, I'm down. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. It was a long one. We started at 11.30-ish, I think. Yeah, yeah I was like yeah, I was just trying to bust my ass out of the way. Ah, you're good. No, it was good. You've been... Been here for the majority of it. Yeah, I think we were only 18 minutes in when you texted him. So. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, you got here early. All right, fucking guys. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> Salty. Good catch. <laughs> um, we're gonna call it for tonight, and so yeah. 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 Plug. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Plug away, cool. both of you. All right. Pl- pl- plug it. Salty didn't give me a follow. Yeah. yeah. Salty hosted me, so. He's already, oh, okay, Salty. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't streamed since you follow me, but right. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm Saxon Says on Twitch and Twitter. I'm live streaming Tuesday through Saturday, 4.30, 30 Mountain, which is 6.30 to 10.30 Eastern, which everybody uses. Um, I've been playing mostly Slay the Spire, actually pretty much only Slay the Spire. Um, I'm currently working with Twitch to try and get approved for a special stream. So be on the lookout for that. Oh yeah. Find what is that out. Greenwich Mean Time? Huh? What is what time is that GMT? I have no idea. God. I only know GMT's, Mountain and uh, <laughs> Europe. I yeah, only I know, know Mountain and Eastern They're time. Eight hours ahead. I was just doing it to troll. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. I think it's um, I think it's five hours ahead for UTC, like Global Zero. Good old Global Zero. So yeah. guys, Google it. You'll find it. <laughs> yeah. And Daniel will start streaming someday. Dude, I'm working on those Fortnite things. No. I have to show you, dude. I have like this way fucking cool interface, but like, hell yeah. I have these just MP4s I've made for every location I drop. Well, not yet, but I'm making them for every location you drop a Fortnite. And they're just stupid little 10 second clips, but I've made it so they come in really nice and they just come out. There's not like interviewing the stream, but it's like making it more interactive. It's more about like keeping viewers entertained. Cause I'm not that good at that game, and there's <laughs> you either get viewers by being really good or being really funny. So right. I try to be really funny. I've seen a lot of people growing right now, and the only reason they're growing, they wear suits. Suits. I follow I follow this European guy that wears a suit. They he, wear suits while they stream Fortnite, and people emotion. watch. I don't get it. It's John Wick. Who's tomorrow? Yeah, John, John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow? That's probably oh, what yeah. it is. Yeah. I think I'm finna wear a ridiculous outfit tomorrow. <laughs> I've been waiting. I I'm keep waiting for the ridiculous. I keep outfits. getting off late, or it's like someone that. Where are you working? I work for my dad. He's like, this is his office. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I want to wear a super ridiculous outfit, but you know I don't want to do it with a rand. It would be funny with the rando, but like. I think it'd be hilarious. Just some random. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, hello. Do you know what I should what do with the these nights? Someone that's ran- random, but I or not, you know. Someone that I know is cool. Yeah. Because, or even maybe if they're not, but I just get plastered. <laughs> and then show up wearing, like, a Flava Flav cloth. <laughs> you guys should actually do, like, a Drunken Smash tournament. People love watching this. People but, love yeah. Smash, Well, yeah. we won't say I'm drunk so we don't get in trouble, but, like, just... You can be drinking on Just to harass. I was telling yeah. Wes, I'm just well, gonna... Well, I'm, I'm, you gotta be careful can, with it. That's why I'm in touch. I'm trying to get with Twitch to... Because mine's gonna be... I wanna do, uh... I'll just be... I wanna do what... I'm gonna call it Shots for Spire. Which is basically every time I lose a run, I have to take a shot. Yeah. I think it'd be yeah. funny to have it's gonna be cool. It's going to be a short stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. No, no. I mean, I, no, I just mean in reality, you can get fucked in, like real fast sometimes. Like. Uh, yeah, but you just have to be careful about it, you know? <laughs> I like the response. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> so... You have to get approved to drink on Well, no, I just want to make... Because I, I don't want to break any TOS guidelines and get a, a one-day ban. 
But, but drinking's allowed, right? Like, it, it's, uh, it's allowed, but you have to... Excessive it's, it's drinking point. is considered self-harm yeah. on TOS. You can get to a point where it's considered self-harm, and then you can mm. get a, a channel suspension for that, Yeah, um, which I want to avoid. Ghost, so. You guys remember when Gosu got banned? You guys remember Gosu? Yeah, yeah. Gosu, Gosu when he got banned. Yeah, he got mega drunk and was just like, "Yeah, I'm probably gonna kill myself after stream." And yeah, like, he was yeah, like, I just know. like dead serious. He's like, "Yeah, I'll probably just." Like, <laughs> and then ended it. No, he he got they they booted him offline. It was like an hour later and stuff, and he's like, "Wait, one second, what the hell?" He's like, "Can you guys hear me?" And like his stream got like shut down from one end, and then his end went down. And he he got banned, and he was on Reddit the next day. And yeah, I was super drunk, and I was talking to him like. Yeah. I just want to kill myself. Yeah. yeah. But, like, the clip's super dark, dude. He's just like, yeah, I could just, like, cut my fucking head off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah real sad. All right, but guys, yeah, we're going to call for the nice one. Where can I rent a pimp suit? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dare. Mac. Your local pimp. Mr. Mac. Yeah. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, friend.